Actually, I, uh, I was hired by the engines division of AV Rural Canada Limited, which became Orenda sometime later. Had to prepare for the arrival of a thing called an electronic calculator. Nowadays, we call them computers. But in those days, the word computer brought something else to mind. The computers were typically uh, girls who operated desk calculators. So sometimes when one speaks of computers, you don't always think of the same thing as I do. The Orenda engine uh, was in production before I joined the company. I didn't change any, any of the aerodynamics at all. I didn't change any of the theory at all. I just used the computer to do what the engineers were doing with slide rule and the paper and pencil and desk calculator, only faster. So we then did a redesign of the Orenda compressor and the same thing of the turbine. That's all. And we raised the thrust. That, the, the result of, the, of that was that it raised the thrust of the Arenda engine from 5,000 pounds to of the order of 7,000 pounds. In other words, we got a 60% in, increase in performance just by using a computer to, calcula to, to calculate more accurately uh, the compressor and turbine. You see, the thing is, that when you're designing a stage of a compressor, each stage has to be designed. Stages of a compressor, one, one set of fans after the other, each feeding into the next. So you have to calculate the output of the number one stage, and that's the input to the number two stage. So it's, it's analogous to the old problem of you can't just put more, more people on it. It's an analogous to the pro problem of Consider you've got a digging a ditch. If you've got a ditch to dig and you, and you put 10 men in it, they'll do, they'll do the ditch in, ten, in one tenth of the time it takes one man to dig the ditch. But if they're digging a well, that's different because there's only room for one man at a time to dig. So you have to get each stage designed before the next stage. And the guy who's designing these stages knows that the boss is twiddling his thumbs and saying, this has got to be finished soon. You know, so there's a, a rush to get the thing finished. So each stage, each compressor stage, the, compre the engineer takes it as far as he dares. He says, well, this is good enough. And then the next one, well, that's good enough. Well, what we did with the computer was we ground every one of these cal calculations right down to, to zilch so that each, each one was, and as far as it's concerned, perfect for an extra, extra 2,000 pounds thrust. Well, that's what happened with the, with the, the later mark of the Arena engine, which gave it a new, a new life to the CF-100 and the Sabre. There's the Sabre of the American, there's the story of the American uh, Sabre pilot who was given a, a chance to fly uh, one of our new Aranda Sabres. So he opened up the taps and bailed out. What did you do that for? You wrecked a perfectly good aircraft. He said, well, the thing exploded behind me. He, apparently nobody had warned him that he was going to be subjected to an extra 2,000 pounds thrust. So he figured he was in trouble. He didn't get a chance to fly another Canadian Sabre. <laughs> Thank you.